your 3D glasses on then, pussy, because you know we coming straight at you. PPV, back again with my dog, LL Cool G, NEB. What's good, my dog? Yeah, what's good, bro? How you doing, brother? Man, I'm all right. I'm all great. I'm blessed, man. They can't like you. Out the gate, out the gate. Let's talk, my dog. Speaking of blessings in this bitch, MC Wars, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you just came off your battle with Reggie P, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I came off the battle with Reggie P. Out the gate. So uh, let's rewind. You know how PPV do. You know what I'm saying? So how did you get the call for uh, this battle? Yeah, I, I, I actually booked on a card before this with Reggie P, but they ended up like, pushing it back. It was originally supposed to be in August, but they thought, you know, the, the battle would hit more, get more attention if they threw it on it. You know what I'm saying? This call me October. You know what I'm saying? They had the bottom of the line. I've been knowing about this big call from Drew much already. So, you know what I'm saying? That was right, you know? Out the gate, out the gate. Can I wash this, uh, your face off? You know what I mean? Shout out to uh, the big dog, Poison Pen, this, that, and the third. You know what I mean? Because you mentioned that that y'all was supposed to battle at one point, but it's, it's, you know what I'm saying? Pushed it back for this. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, yeah. would you rather battle on this car or battle on your original date? Shit, this car. <laughs> Hell yeah, nigga. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. Out the gate, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you signed up for this. So, uh, Originally, because I already know how you rock it, my nigga. Did you already have bullets in the clip for this nigga, or you just reloaded? You know what I'm saying? Unloaded and nah, reloaded. Nah, nah, I love, like I said, I, I actually I wrote, you know what I'm saying? But then I actually, like I said, I, I loaded up for us, like, you know what I'm saying? New shit. I added to my shit from uh, then and shit from August. So, you know what I'm saying? I just reloaded some shit. Out the gate, out the gate. So um, you're familiar with the beat because you make music, goddammit. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. but this is a, a new format for you, uh, battle-wise. Yes or no? Yeah, it's a new battle format for me. Yes. Okay, because you you definitely acapella. You know what I mean? So, uh, how did you yeah. uh, writing process? How, how do you? Everybody can't no, transition no, battle bars no. on a beat. Like, what was your process? It was pretty easy, you know what I'm saying? Because if you listen to the music, you can't try to say, like, I don't sound like a battle rapper, but I can actually implement a lot of punchlines and shit like that without it having to be like a gun bar or that type of reference and shit like that. So you just gotta know, like, how to, how to use beats, you know what I'm saying, to find your pocket on the beat, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty much it. It was an easy task for me, you feel me? Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Cause I want to talk, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, the writing process. So, let's speak about, uh, y'all went three, three of the things. Right, three of the things, yeah. Okay, so, uh, two on beat and one acapella, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So, acapella is another day at the office. So, how did y'all go with the beat selection? Did they give y'all the beat or did y'all choose a beat? Yeah, how did yeah, that work? Yeah, they gave us the, they gave us the beats that they uh, had, uh, one of their producers. Had made, it was all like original shit. There wasn't no beats. Like I said, on Verbal Warzone, they didn't get to pick their beats and they won't. And like, but over here, they just give us the beats they wanted to rap on. Okay, you know what I'm saying? How did you feel about the beat selection? Uh, I thought that it was trash. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. cause the beats I heard, you know what I'm saying? Because I watched a couple of them joints, you know what I'm saying? I haven't seen your joint yet, you know what I mean? They were like, like, like New York, like. Early New York hip hop beats. Yeah, it, like, it was like, you know what I'm saying? It was like more super, super hip hop. Like, you got hip hop, then you got super, uh, baby, I like it raw, type of hip hop type <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, cause that's, that's the vibe I got, you know what I mean? Cause I'm like, okay, I hear the beats, but it's all about the cadence, you know what I'm saying? How you how you ride the beat, pause, you know what I mean? So, you coming up, rapping off the beat, like, I know you had probably had a selection of a beat that you wanted to use, but you gotta work with what you work with. And so, um, right. yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, you uh, fast forward, boom, your face off, you know what I mean? That face off was kind of friendly, man. So you got respect for Reggie P, man? Yeah, I got respect for everybody that rap. Love. Love. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't go like, because it's like, I feel like there's a lot of people that put like, oh, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of energy and promotion and gas and up a battle. But I feel like, you know what I'm saying? If I'm putting it like, I, I'm wasting time trying to like gas for battle or find all this dirt about this person or they're in there and try to, you know, get almost start a fight to promote a battle. That might be end up being trash because I put all my energy into the promotion instead of putting all my energy in the rap. Mm. So niggas be like, energy be in I'll the wrong be place. Like that. In the last couple of years, you've seen a lot of battles that's been geeked up to be there.
this and that. And niggas almost fighting on camera, but when the battles come out, they're honestly trash. They don't have replay value. They're just so big stars, and people want to see them all. They almost fought, or they called each other a couple bitches in our and now niggas want to see it. But if you can want to see something, no, ain't no point of going to see a Floyd Mayweather fight if, you know, the, the boxing going to be trash, or niggas going to get knocked out in the first round, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh. So, not, none of that WWF shit. Nah, nah, man. Like I told you, man, I, I'm more of a, I'm more of a mankind type of nigga. Mankind didn't do too much talking. He got in there, you know what I'm saying? Got hardcore. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but like I said, I'm about like to tell all this compare myself to mankind, do love, cactus jack, whatever you want to call it. But that nigga it. had multiple personalities, nigga. So you schizophrenic, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, man, I got multiple, man. I'm a little big brother almighty, you know what I'm saying? Like I was like, shit. Out the so gate. at the end of the day, yeah, so it was like at the end of the day. That's it, man. I'm always, I'm, I'm focused on the fight and the actual, you know, going in there, like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm almost trying to get into it with a nigga to make, make people something. And then when you do that, you actually give people something to dissect after that. You feel me? Oh, you, you did it, this, and you did this, but you, you said you was gonna whoop the nigga when you seen him, and you yeah. didn't do it. But I'm out. I said for the battle, but a nigga can put that. You feel me? Mhm. Mm yeah. So I give people ammunition on something that I don't have. So like I'm being myself. I'm like this is myself. I'm laid back. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm active until I get activated. So, mm. so man. Out the gate. Don't give a motherfucker a reason. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, I'll give a nigga a reason or excuse. Like, I, cause I don't smoke and ride no more. I used to smoke and ride, but like, that's giving the police a reason to whip me, bro. Cause weed ain't legal here. Right, right. You know what I mean? Don't give a nigga a reason. Yeah. Yeah, right. Especially, you know what I'm saying? You can smoke when you break your work, or you can smoke shit in your crib ain't too far from your job. Mm-hmm. You know don't give a motherfucker a reason to fuck with you, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So we on the yeah, same page. I, I, I don't give a motherfucker a reason. The fuck with me, so like you say, you know what I'm saying? When it when it when it muscles bother me, my responses are warranted and necessary. Out the gate, out the gate, you know what I'm saying? Because like, bro, uh, you ain't looking for trouble, but when it finds you, hey, what's up, Jack? You know what I'm saying? Right. So now nah, I got you. So uh, you versus Reggie P, three rounds, MC Wars. You know what I'm saying? Star studded card. What was your placement that day? Like, when did you go? Oh, uh, you set it off with the first battle. Oh shit, oh, you got that fresh, fresh crown, nigga. How you feel about, cause niggas be, feel disrespected by going first. When I think that, man, you get the freshest crowds, you ain't getting no dead crowd. How do you feel about going first? Uh, and, and, what, 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 it, it, it like, it like niggas hop on the track and always wanna go last, and they can hear what everybody else said and try to make this shit or rewrite this shit or yeah. wanna make this shit better than other niggas shit. I'm the type of nigga to where shit, I'm the nigga that wanna go first on the track. Everybody gonna hear the first nigga. You mm -hmm. feel me? Facts. Facts. So it's like, I, I don't care about going first, second, third, fourth, or last. Like, I don't care about it. I could be the main event on the party. I, I'd rather go second or third. You feel me? Like, I don't care about, like, I don't care about placement with shit. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, shit, did the turtle, did the turtle beat the hair in the race? You know the answer, Nick. <laughs> yeah. You know, like I said, I don't care. Like, you know what I'm saying? The, the tortoise care, one, goddammit, you know what I mean? But you know how niggas, it's an ego thing, you know what I mean? So that's why I asked. You know what I'm saying? Like, I said, but, I said, one thing, yeah, yeah, like, 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 you know what I'm saying? That's a lot of niggas' problem, man. Like, a lot of niggas want to go first, go second or third or fourth or main event. But like I said, are, are you giving me a main event performance, though? Nah, bro, solid, no, nah, so, so y'all popped it off, you know what I'm saying? Uh, coin talk, who who won, bro? Who 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 got the rocking first, bro? Who was the first nigga rapping? Oh, he was. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, like, like the referee, the one of the refs that was up there, you know what I'm saying? Like in between us, like when I'm gonna get some bullshit with the coin toss, like you flipped the coin, you wasn't let that bitch hit the flow. This nigga hit the, this nigga flipped the coin, caught it, then let it hit the flow. Ah, uh, nah, that ain't the way we do this thing. Nah, like, let that bitch hit the floor. What are we doing? Hell yeah, you know what I mean? That was a little weird. <laughs> that yeah, was, yeah, it was weird shit off. Yeah, it was weird shit off. Like, then my third round, this nigga. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's, go, let's go round for round. Let's go round for round. Uh, so, uh, he, he uh, bopped it off. You know what I mean? What did you feel about his material out the gate with it? Oh, uh, man, it's material. That sounds like you just wrote it. Oh, goddamn. So yeah, I take that that, that that that's a bad thing, shit. 
man. I feel like it's loaded. I feel like his best round probably was the second round. And shit, because you know, you only spit for a 16, that's only a minute. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, like, his second round was pretty much everything. We got another cool staff to Sox Bar. Ah, shit. That shit again? We got another, we got another phenomenon bar. We got another fucking uh, in the LL in the house bar. We got it like it was just everything that everybody said. You know what I'm saying? So just another day at the office with a nigga just giving you repeat material. You know what I mean? Do you feel like niggas research yeah, your like, shit? Like, Do you feel like niggas uh, research your shit or they just research your no, shit I and take? Like, I, 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 I don't think he he, he, he said he watched my battles. He said he watched my music videos too. So. If you watch any one of my top battles or any battle like top of LL Fuji, a lot of my top battles gonna pop up on the top. Rum Diddy, uh, Long Man, uh, Facts. Forty Bars, Facts. fucking I keep my King of the Dot shit, my URL shit, all that. They go dub up. So I try to figure out how 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 are we? So how 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 are we? You know, at this point where you know at this point where. People are going to try to make narratives up about me. Why? Because all they can do is really put my name. So like I said, once you go in situations where I can't say a nigga Rob Cooley or a nigga punked or slapped or punched Cooley and this shit and he ain't dead, then I can't say Cooley stole no, uh, stole no deposit from a nigga or a nigga looking for him and he running or he shit a nigga press me at a bit and I ain't, I ain't do nothing and he hold me. Like, so they have to really just name flip me for real or talk about me being Dot Bob or Move Direct or talk about uh, 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 my, my fiance or some shit, a bitch in panic or something. Like, they don't have really nothing to say to me as a man. So it's like, you have to work around just name flipping me all day, feel me? Nah, bro, that's the thing, bro. And this thing of ours, brother, it's all about creating a narrative. It's, if a motherfucker can make you look away without it being true, Niggas gonna ride, right. you know and, what I mean? And that, and that's where I'm at with it. So yeah. when people have to stick to, so when people, the thing with me, when people have to stick into a time frame and they have to like literally just rap with me, it's, and they have no wins with me. Out the game. Out like the game. I get to the point too fast. You feel me? So far, that's how I feel about it. Uh, in second round, I went third. Okay, third round. You know what I'm saying? That was the acapella round. That's that's what did. Hold on, did, nigga. Did you hit him with the kill switch, nigga? Uh, I couldn't. It was they. They was cutting me off. Mm. Damn, he didn't kill switch. So you had a kill switch for him. Okay. I had it ready to go. I just, you know, what I'm saying, you know, just so, uh, you know, what I'm saying, like, I just, you know, with that being said, you know, I just went in there, you know, what I'm saying, and had my shit locked in. And like I said, bro, I was just like I said, I had more shit to go, like more shit to rap, and they was cutting me off and shit, you know what I'm saying? So, Cause we was originally supposed to go twice, four times each round. Like I was supposed to go twice around, he was supposed to go twice in the same round. That's gonna be one round. Like we was supposed to go, he was supposed to go, I was supposed to go, he was supposed to go, I was supposed to go. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened, but we literally only went one time every round. Like a three round battle, but the rounds was only a minute, minute and Probably 15 seconds of change, bro. So, you know, having me in a time capsule, you know, I get to the point faster than most people. So, like, you know, that if you have no win, especially if you don't, if you don't have a little shit prepared for people like pausing and stumbling a lot, too. Ah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? When you're that clean round, bro, I you lose free, that. And I think he freestyled. Yeah, I think he freestyled his third, too. <clears throat> Man, um, shit. <laughs> Well, shout out to that nigga, my nigga. Cause in a, in a setting like this, my nigga, you gotta come ready for war, bro. Yeah, shout out to you, no, no, shout out to Reggie B. Cause like I said, when I watched the Chef Trans, he was prepared. Like he was very prepared. I don't know what happened this time. He told me he had a battle on the 27th that he had canceled. So I'm thinking he told me that you canceled the battle. I think you will be more ready for mm -hmm. this battle. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, because it, it don't look good for me to cut to Atlanta where you from. And then beat you in Atlanta 30 ball on a big car like that. Yeah, definitely at home. Definitely at home, home. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, I do that though. You know, I, I, I do that at home. That's what I do. Well, hey. I smoke a lot of niggas, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, smoke a nigga at the crib. Knock on a nigga door, beat their ass, huh? Yeah. Out, right. the, out the gate, you know what I'm saying? So you versus Reggie P. Uh, is that dropping, bro? Because I see a lot of bootlegs, bro. So is that dropping on the official MC War page? Uh, it should, you know what I'm saying? They paid for it, so I, so they, they should, you know. I was hearing people saying some people uh couldn't, the audio kind of fucked up or 
whatever from the uh, pay per view, but I'm hoping they they got the ca- whatever cameras they was using. I hope they got the camera shit right. You know what I'm saying for the, you know what I'm saying for that shit. You know, besides that, uh, uh, I don't know what else. Like I said, like I said, I hope, hope so they they drop it. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, so, yeah, the nigga referee, uh, I'm gonna get ready to do my my first round with pound for pound and third good shit for my third. Look, let me take the mic from me and one of these your proper introduction. Third round. Hold on, nigga. Like, no. What? what are you doing, bro? But like, I'm saying, okay, you know, like, whatever that just was. Bro, I seen a lot of weird shit. Like I said, I watched the Bula, I watched the uh, Charlie Clips on P, I watched the Vado. Uh, Saigon shit, and then I seen a lot of weird shit. A lot of Mike was getting passed in a battle. Like, why is this nigga on the mic, bro? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, we didn't see I, these I, niggas I, I rap, bro. What the fuck is y'all doing, bro? Like, it was a lot of weird yeah. shit that night. Yeah, there's a lot of weird shit going on, but you know what I'm saying, man. They, uh, everybody want to get much with MC Ward, you know what I'm saying? They had a beautiful, uh, venue. They had great, they do great business. They had a, a, a nice, a nice five star hotel and you know what I'm saying? Nigga, like, I see like, you standing in your big bed, nigga. Look up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see you, my dog. I'm like, look at my nigga, happy. Look at him. Look at that big ass bed, goddamn. Yeah, you know, so like it was too put too locked down from the, the hotel, so the venue was. So really, they really had to go nowhere. So. You know, like I said, man, it was, uh, it was a great venue. So anybody that want to do the next event, you know what I'm saying? I'll definitely vouch for them to go fuck with them and shit. So for that, for that, you know what I'm saying? That was my uh, last battle this past weekend. You know, it was a great experience being on the car with all the uh, legendary people. Like, just not just uh, battle rap, just hip hop. You know, mm-hmm. you know, and like, from doing that card, you know what I'm saying? They just added me and Richie P them in the Double XL magazine, too. Mm, that's fire. Congratulations, my dog. Yeah, Double X Bill magazine, all hip hop magazine, all that shit, you know what I'm saying? He L M Cool G and Reggie, all of all of that shit, like you know what I'm saying, multiple, like I said, big hip hop sources and shit, you know what I'm saying? So it's definitely a blessing and a good look, you know what I'm saying? For me, I used to battle with a basement on Auto War 414. Mm-hmm. So coming through Brock, coming where through Brock and now and Look where you at now, and, look where you at now. Yeah. being on all the big leagues and all these big battles, I'm getting back to back, like, you know what I'm saying, for the last since like 2017, I've been battling, you know what I'm saying, Prince Mafia, and since for Prince Mafia, I've been battling big names since from then, so it's like, it's always a blessing, you know what I'm saying, to tell people, you know what I'm saying, don't, don't ever listen to people or tell you what they, what you can't do, a lot of people let tell you what they're afraid to do just to stop you, because they know you can do it, you got to, and I got to work at it, you know what I'm saying, I don't let people or opinions get to me, you know what I'm saying, I mean, people have told me what I can, cannot do, or told me, oh, I need to change my name, or I need to do this, well, I've got very far with doing the same shit. I've been doing, you feel? My dog, my dog, bro. Beautifully yeah. said, you know what I'm saying? But I got one last question that I seen right. uh, motherfuckers talking about, you know what I mean? The mic situation, you know what I mean? Because this MC war to me, MCs, real MCs know how to use a mic. Pause. And that's crazy right, right. there. You know what I mean? Because that's where the art, the, the, the essence, this thing of ours come from. Niggas know how to control a crowd with a mic. How did you feel about the mic situation? Because niggas was talking about that Summer Madness 1 or 2 when they had to hold the mic. I think it was 2. You know what I mean? How do you feel about holding the mic? Pause. Because it still sound crazy. Yeah, no, uh, yeah man. I, I, I didn't feel no way about it. Like I said, I'm a master of ceremony. You feel me? That's right. Uh, so it's like being a master of ceremony, you know what I'm saying, being an MC, I adapt to whatever situation it was, man, I, I, I didn't have no problem, like, with, with the mic, so like I said, I was rapping, I was rapping the way I needed to rap, I was moving the way I needed to move, I, like, I never, I never had a type of problem, you feel me, so I always, I was good with the mic, I didn't complain one time. Out the gate, you know what I'm saying, see, real MC, MC Wars, nigga, you know what I'm saying, MC Ward, the logo yeah, the is a nigga song. holding the mic, bro, right, like, no. pause. Like, right, that's what right, it is. So, right, right, right. So, like I said, so next, the next battles I got coming up after this, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I got uh, next weekend, I'll be in Muggy, Indiana. I'll be battling with MBK Smacky. Got a one round battle. Well, honey. Shout out to MBK. Right then, right then after that, I got uh, Stack Almighty, October 24th, three rounds on uh, Kid KOTD. Then November, thir- then, then November 13th. I got the magic on the validation two card in Cleveland. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Jack. Hold on, bro. pump your brakes, Jack. You got yeah. what? Say that again, because that's my little sister's birthday, by the way. Shout out to my little sister, Desiree. November 13th, got you B- got what? Got B-, B magic. 
Let's talk about oh, that, brother. Cause nigga, that's news to me, right? That you know what I'm saying? Like, goddamn, shout out to uh, Tyrell Banks. That's validation, right? That's the uh, fonts. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's validation too. And yep. then after that, I got. Uh, and then after that, I got uh, Body and Diver after uh, Be Magic. So you know, okay. let's talk about this Midwest Midwest violence real quick before I let before I let go. You know what I mean? Like, how you feel about Be Magic, brother? You no, being from the Midwest too. I respect B Mac. He's one of the innovators for that, you know what I'm saying, that punchline style, that back to back shit. You feel me? Mm hmm. But you about to smoke this yeah, nigga? You know? Yeah, bro. I'm gonna smoke the fuck out of B Mac. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one round? It's a, it's a one round battle, yeah. Okay, okay. Solid. You know what I'm saying? You got Bonnie Godiva. What league you got, Bonnie? Thank you. Okay, same shit. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my dog. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn, so uh, this your second female battle rap? Could you 40 bars, then the Bonnie? Am I mistaken? Yeah, yeah, this is this, this my second. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I, I battled three girls. I battled a girl named Lyrical. And uh, the fucking year, I'm talking about years ago. This shit. Okay, like, see, you know, I ain't hip to that when You schooling me right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, battled, I battled her on Pops Battle League and shit. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, I battle her on Pops Battle League. I battle her and, uh, you know, shit like that. You know, I battle her. And I battle her, like, with 2000, like, the, what, 14, 15? It was one of those. I'm 14, 15, one of those shits, bro. And, uh, that was my first girl battle. And then after that, I battled 40. And then I battled, battle with Bonnie. So, yeah. So, that's my, uh, girl. I'll grab out of the Emerson Battle 3 girls now. Dope shit. Dope shit, my dog. So, PPV, anything else you got to say to the streets, good brother? Right now, man, go get that motherfucking cold March 5 hosted by DJ motherfucking drama. Bitch! And after this, like, like I said, uh, and after that, like I said, we got, I got a new project coming out in a couple months and shit called Key Street Legend. Mm -hmm. I got that coming out. Maybe make sure y'all be on the tune for that shit, too. You know, I get out. So, like I said, be expecting some more music videos from Cold March hosted by DJ Drama and Cold March 5. Like I said, go get that on Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer, you know, every you know, Google Play, you know, on YouTube Music, all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, subscribe to my boy's channel, you know what I'm saying? Mr. Circle City. Out the gate, you know what I'm saying? Uh, likewise, subscribe to my nigga uh, LL Cool G, you know what I'm saying? Jordan Corp. Oh, yeah. Corp. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Yeah, shout out to wife, too. Hell yeah, nigga. Shout out to my motherfucking fat my old penny. Nigga, the fuck is you talking about? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, shout out to the wife. You know what I mean? Uh, PPV, live this motherfucker with my dog. You know what I'm saying? El Kooji, we out this motherfucker. Pussy. Put your 3D glasses on, then, pussy. Because you know we coming straight at you.